All right, guys, so I want to go through here and uh, make that key for you. Uh, this is from your Desmos. We're going to start on slide five. We're going to skip over kind of the little instructional stuff since you should have gotten it in the video and you should have practiced. Um, by the way, um, thanks for watching this. Thank you for working hard, all of you that are working hard. Just uh, hope you continue to know that I wish I was there with you. All right, so I'm going to look at these two points. Uh right here and right here okay and I'm going to look for the ratio up and down the ratio side to side so my up and down I like to trace a little triangle on here and it goes one two three up and one two three four five over and so remember we're looking for a rise and a run vertical over horizontal so my vertical is three my horizontal is five. So there's my slope of three fifths. Now five thirds would be if I went up five and went over three. That that'd be a different line. Okay. Cool, cool. There's my three fifths. That is slide five. So let's jump slide six on this one. Point to point. I'm going to go up one, two, three, four over one, two, three up four, right three. My slope is four thirds. A rise of four, a run of three. Four thirds. Let's jump to seven. Uh, determine the slope of a line. Here I have a rise of one and a run of two. So my slope, or my rise to run, is one half. We're going to jump next to number nine shows the sort. Now I can't, because I'm the teacher, I can't do the sort with you, but here's here's all you need to know, okay? Positive slopes, you gotta remember slope, dude. Up left to right. Negative slopes, down left to right. Zero slopes are zero fun if you're a skiing. There's my zero. And undefined is that cliff. The slope dude went off of. So there's the the positive, negative, zero, undefined. You just, you just got to remember slope, dude. You guys remember slope, dude. I can almost guarantee that. Okay, so this one says sketch a graph that has a positive slope. It can be anything as long as left to right, it goes up. So here's a bunch of them. All these are positive. Left to right, they all go up. Let's see if I can make one barely go up. All right, those are all positive. Left to right goes up. Next, we got zero slope that has to be horizontal. And the reason that w works is, like, there's zero rise, and let's say the run is, like, three. Anything, zero divided by three, or zero divided by five, or zero divided by 50, those all equal zero. So horizontal is always going to be zero slope. Next, we got negative slope. That's, that's left to right. It just needs to be going down, left to right. Doesn't matter if it's steep. Anything left to right is negative, okay? There's a bunch of negative slopes. You gotta remember that slope, dude. Undefined slope, you gotta remember it's when slope dude goes off the cliff. Undefined. Okay, so the reason that works is let's say you have a rise of three and it's not going left or right, so you have a run of zero. You can't divide anything by zero. You can't do it. You try to slap that in a calculator, it's gonna tell you nope. All right, you can't divide by zero. That's how you remember that one's undefined. There's no run. Let's check out this line. Let's see the slope. Now, this one, it didn't give you dots. That's fine. You can make your, any two points work, right? So let's see. Any two points. Rise of two, run of one. That's going to give me slope of two. And let's say I didn't use, let's say I didn't use that second point. Let's say one right here. Rise of four, run of two. Well, guess what four over two equals, friends? Still deuces. Two. All right? It doesn't matter what two points you work. You, you guys remember those similar triangles we dealt with? Any, all the similar triangles. They all have a slope of two. Let's check this one. I'm gonna take this point and this point. So there's a negative one, there's a three. My slope is negative one third. Negative slope this time. Notice left to right, that's going down. And it's yelling timber. Let's check the slope of this line. Now let's look at this point, this point. You might notice there is no rise. And the run's like whatever, three. That is horizontal, 
is going to give us that zero slope. Remember, a flat hill is zero fun. All right, let's check this one out. On a coordinate plane, I got 0.14. It's right there. I got point negative two two. It's right there. So here's my line. I need to get a slope. So from two up to four, that's my rise of two. And from or, yeah, yeah, from negative two over to one, that's my run of three. So my slope is going to be two thirds. And you can kind of see that right here. Check it. Check it. Here's my two. The difference of four and two. The difference of negative two and one. There's my two and my three. That's it. That's it, guys. All right. Thanks for watching this little uh, video of explaining the answers on the decimals. I hope you went out of hard. I hope you grew that brain. I hope you continue to work hard, not just my class and all of them, uh, so that you come into your freshman year just ready to roll. All right. Miss y'all.